She flicked her match away and exhaled smoke through pursed lips. Then she looked at me as if she had forgotten that I was there. I couldn't see her eyes through the dark, reflective lenses of her sunglasses. You live around here? she asked. Uh huh. I wanted to motion towards our house, but I had turned so many odd angles to get here that I no longer knew exactly where it was. I ended up pointing at random. I'm looking for my cat, I explained, wiping a sweaty palm on my pants. It's been gone for a week. Somebody saw it around here somewhere. What kind of cat? A big tom. Brown stripes. Tip of the tail a little bent. Name? Noboru. Noboru Wataya. No, not your name. The cat's. That is my cat's name. Oh, very impressive. Well, actually, it's my brother-in-law's name. The cat sort of reminds us of him. We gave the cat his name just for fun. How does the cat remind you of him? I don't know, just in general. The way it walks. And it has this blank stare. She smiled now for the first time, which made her look a lot more childlike than she had seemed at first. She couldn't have been more than 15 or 16. With its slight curl, her upper lip pointed up at a strange angle. I seemed to hear the voice saying, Touch me. The voice of the woman on the phone. I wiped the sweat from my forehead with the back of my hand.